Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. The more than 3 million Ukrainians who have left the country represent one of the largest wartime migrations since World War II. Photos from train stations all over Ukraine, the trains mostly destined for Poland, Slovakia, or Hungary, span the full breadth of human emotion. This photo was taken by Pete Keyhart for The Guardian and BuzzFeed. It shows people desperately trying to board trains headed west at Kiev Pasizersky Central Station on March 1, 2022, the eighth day of Russia's war on Ukraine. Boarding was prioritized by mothers with children, then women, then the elderly. There's a reason this photograph got a lot of attention when it first appeared, and it, it's about the hand, it's about the reaching, it's about the body language. I also had a strong association with a visual form known as trompe l'oeil, this kind of trick of the eye painting that you see in paintings of the past, where the person, the figure reaching out almost directly toward you, the viewer, appears to be reaching so far that they might actually pull you into the frame with them. This photograph is offering, I think, something like that illusion. But in contrast with the Trump Lloyd painting, the illusion is not for pure amusement. It's really pressing us to think about the kind of life-changing choice that's happening for those people on the platform reaching out to get onto the train. I am just astonished by the layers of story or the layers of meaning in this photograph. The emphasis on the reach, of course, indicative of support and selflessness. The anguish of that woman in the back rear, certainly in this emotional storm, evoking all the fears of the Ukrainian people, a sense of trauma. And then there's just this completely striking role of the hands in this photograph. Yes, the outreach, but also the tension of those steadying hands on the train wall just inside the door. And then when you talk about the middle ground, those two men at the entrance to the train, that kind of bookcasing gazes between them, the man in the green hat and the man with the shaved head, which also, I think, cues for organization and gatekeeping. Most younger men are staying behind to work or fight. They're not getting on trains. But there's a, an order to this photograph in the most chaotic of circumstances. The photo really puts us in the position of the people on the platform. And what strikes me about that and about her reaching is the almost beseeching nature of her gaze. You have to wonder if she's looking particularly at somebody saying, come up here, pass me something. And it's a look of pure urgency that is literally now or never for whatever it is that she's reaching out for. It's a cliche, but I think it's a metaphor for the experiences that people who are being forced to become refugees are experiencing. And it is incredible that she's looking that far out, that they have such a procedure for who gets on at a moment of such incredible urgency. There's so many people, if you look at the other photographs that Keyhart made and others that day at that station and at so many other stations, just the utter urgency and also at the same time, the utter order and compassion that you see in equal measure. It says a lot about the Ukrainians and it says a lot about human nature, the kind of human nature that we can really identify with in the face of Putin's inhumanity.